Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about iOS 26.1 RC update and I'm going to talk about how the battery is performing and how the performance is going on so far from last 3 days. So I'm using this update from last 3 days and I can say this is a great update honestly. If you haven't saw my first impression of this update like 24 hour review video, I was a bit worried about the update but after using it for 3 days, I can say this is a really good update and I'm actually happy about this. Now in this video, I'm going to cover different topics like battery life and performance. So let's begin with the battery life. So let me get into the settings. Let me get to the battery section. Let the battery stats load. And we are going to see 3 days of battery life. So this is the first day when I was using iOS 26.1 RC update. And I use my device a lot. I use my device more than 100%. Which means I use 105% as you can see. And against that I got 9 hours and 4 minutes screen on time. Now, during this time I was quite active on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Geekbit and some other applications as you can see. And this is a really good screen on time. The next day I used around 72% and I got 6 hours and 14 minutes screen on time. This is also a decent screen on time which is very nice. During this day I used different applications like Instagram, WhatsApp, MeFit, Threads and some more. Today I am not able to use my device much. I used around 50% and I got 5 hours and 28 minutes screen on time as you can see. During which I was quite active on YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram and some other applications. Now if I conclude this screen on time from last 3 days, this is such a good battery life. Um, it is seems it is improving every single day even if I see today for 50% I got 5 or 48 minutes screen on time which is averaging around more than 10 hours of screen on time which is definitely insane. So it seems 21.26.1 uh, RC update is much better than the beta 4 and it, you know we are getting towards a really good update. Even I'm also reading a lot of comments from you guys that 21RC is a really good update. Even there were, you know, mostly we were talking about that even iPhone Air is giving a good battery life with a 26.1RC update. So yeah, in terms of battery life, this is a really good update and this is a good sign of upcoming stable updates. Now if I talk about the Geekma score, from last 3 days it is working decent, performance is nice. Um, if I talk about the Geekbest score over here, let me get into the I ran the multiple tests like if I share this one, it is 3407 on a single code, 8618 on a multi-code. Both scores are higher than the average one. I ran the test again. This time I got 3377 on a single code and 8502 on a multi-core. Again, both scores are higher than the average one. Today I ran the test again and this time I got 3430 on a single code and 8655 on a multi-core. Again, both scores are higher than the average one. In fact, the uh, multi-core score is really good. And yeah, it seems things are getting better. They are getting better, which is a really good sign. I also read the GPU benchmark multiple times. And if I talk about the latest one, the latest one was 27968, which is higher than the average one, as you can see. And this is actually a really good score. This is much improved than the previous one, even than the beta 4. So it seems the update is getting stable, it seems the things are getting better now, it seems the update is settling up. So I'm happy with the performance, I'm happy with the battery life. Now if I conclude this video so far, I talk about two different stuff. I talk about the battery life and performance and both are decent, both are good. And talking about the next update, definitely we are looking forward to next update, the next 26.1 public update for everyone where everyone will be able to see this update on my this device i'm still running 26.0.1 we got the news regarding 26.0.2 but no that update i don't think is coming because we are already very closer to the 26.1 so yeah i'm gonna install 26.1 on my iphone 11 too and i will be sharing my experience well this is all from this short and simple video and i hope to catch you guys in the next video until then take care peace out